Good morning, folks. We finally have an eruption on the Earth-facing solar longitudes. We'll run down new articles and a major alert for the United States this winter. But first, let's get to it at spaceweathernews.com and see the sun in 193 angstroms from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Remember, we were watching those plasma filaments for destabilization, and just this morning, we've got it. In the early hours of November 4th, the southern aspect of the filament structure lifted and released, it appears the ejection was light and twisted to the right from our view, which would miss Earth's orbital position by a couple months. But to be sure, we'll need SOHO coronagraph updates, which are missing at this time. Updates will come to spaceweathernews.com today when the blast can begin to be tracked. Solar wind from Discover here. Everything is nice and quiet except the phi angle. Solar wind showing off his corkscrew move, and Earth's magnetic shield doesn't totally know what to do with it, but the instability hasn't even reached the lowest storm levels yet. It likely won't get there until a coronal hole stream arrives in a few days. You can see the transequatorial patch, but also on the left, the main bulk of the southern coronal hole reaching up the limb there. ExoMars Lander Crash Site, now in color from high rise. Also a bit more zoomed in than before, the parachute and heat shield are now very easy to pick out next to each other, just off of the main site. As we come to the weather where northern Iran has seen major snow already, I'll ask you to remember this recent story about the polar vortex and how it's going to bring far worse winters to the United States. You've been hearing that in our own forecast for months as well, and now we have the first sign that it's happening now. Areas of Russia are already obliterating the snowiest winter on record marks and we're nowhere near the peak of the season. Some areas saw 10 feet of snow in just three days. Well, what does this mean? Cooler air coming to the western world. More albedo from snow causing further reduction of heat capture. And folks, you can pretty much kiss the El Nino and record heat goodbye for a little while. Observing the frontier 2017 is just five months away. Learn to predict earthquakes using the solar system circuit. Hear an update on the Sapphire Project, Earth's magnetic field, progress in electrical space science, and more. April 8th and 9th in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Website members, if you have been slacking this week, time to cut it out. The last three deeper looks reaching back into October are very important. Not to mention we've got our podcast tomorrow as well. Right now, we've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.